few, few, I'll just say a few more things about about Bet and what's what's going on. There'll be more t- tomorrow when uh, when Chris and I report report back to JD in a bit bit more detail. But there's there's a few things come out of it. Um, Adobe was was very interesting because they weren't they weren't really there. They 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 did disappear at one, another point, but then they came back. So I think over the thirty or more, maybe it's forty. It's great. It's a long time. Bet's been going. Um, really, so the, the internet is only only recently. It, they started out introducing personal computers into schools, and Adobe would were, were a large, a large part of that, but they've they've stopped having a stand there. Uh, they did have a um, a sort of seminar room on the edges um, for the campus, so they they were presumably aiming that at, at universities. So there was a, a dedicated section ahead by Bet, which was aimed completely at, at universities. Um, I think the, the universities have always been there because it's it's such a major technology show. There's a, a wider widest range of suppliers. I don't think there's a, a dedicated HE show that has the same uh, scope. But um, it's interesting that Adobe would would were trying to, to uh, presumably their their latest ideas are all all around artificial intelligence and the cloud and that that sort of thing so I, I i think that's what they would have been talking to the the campus people um but whether universities want to move online and are ready to invest in that end of things i'm i'm not not really sure um in in exeter the, the there is an idea for a, an institute of innovation Educational innovation. I think it's. I've, for, I've forgotten exact the exact description of it, but it seems seems to have gone not gone away in, entirely. But there's there's almost nothing known about it, and I, you get the impression that everything's gone back to normal. That these sort of digital first ideas um, existed during the lockdown, and now it's not really a priority for for a lot of people um but anyway just reporting on what what we saw um adobe was talking to somebody about uh digital first and i i'm i don't know i i i wasn't able to to get into this space it was either empty or very preoccupied uh but Anyway, if any if anybody does know what Adobe are thinking about the digital first campus, uh, that would be be interesting. Uh, come and come and talk to the We Don't Know show or the Wild show, or send us a an MP3 or a WAV file. We can cope with a WAV file. Uh, it's just if we get too many of them, I'm not sure how the hard drives would. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off going off topic again. Um, what was also interesting was was that um, Serif Affinity did have a stand. So, in terms of very old-fashioned Adobe things that you might think of, page makeup and um, illustration and that sort of thing, um, that was covered, um, and you could buy that software outright. You 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 could pay to keep it you didn't have to pay a subscription so that was interesting and also there was um fox who do pdf tools um which is is a, it, that is subscription but um it it seemed a reasonable deal and um so i, I don't i don't know adobe was quite right just to disappear from the scene i, I hope they'll be back at some point and maybe with n- new ideas about the cloud or artificial intelligence or some- something like that. Uh, 